Woo! Do the heaters ever stop, guys? I have no idea. And as per usual, hope you're all doing well, enjoying your weekend so far. Welcome back to more esports talk, guys. Another esports channel out there. I am sure many of you are well aware of that being the score esports. Great at storytelling. Have told a lot of esports stories and gaming stories, probably will in the future, and typically do a very good job in doing so. For the first time in a while, uh, again, they are under fire, this time because of some beef sparked by one of the clips and videos they used. And, uh, well, it's uh, a bit controversial to say the very least super curious what you guys think about this one that involving two counter-strike pros one being pronax and the other being kerrigan it was actually pronax who apparently went back and was watching some esports videos and caught one a while back about himself that being titled the tragedy of Pronax. To give you guys my preface opinion about this, you know, the scores put themselves in a bit of a tricky shoe out there because they tell stories. They tell the good stories and they tell the not so good stories because not everyone in esports and gaming ends up with a happy fairy tale ending, right? And so in doing so, and in order to get views, sometimes you got to choose some controversial titles and, uh, well, calling it the tragedy of Pronax. Obviously, Pronax is probably not going to be a gigantic fan of the video to start with, especially when you use a clip of other pro players, and uh, this clip being of Kerrigan inside that video, I want you guys to know this clip, yes, the Donald Trump head you're going to see, that was edited, but what was said was not edited. It was, though, cut off without the full clip and full context about what Kerrigan had to say about Pronax in his career. If, if I cannot compete to become the best, I would rather stop because I don't want my career, the whole thing I built up for, for 17 years to remember like a pronax. And this is what sparked the response of Pronax, finally going back and watching this video, and he had some early on words to say about Kerrigan. As he said, LOL Kerrigan, old teammate, you will never manage anything close to what I have done in CS or esports. I'd be surprised if you were remembered at all a few years after you quit. To which Kerrigan goes, where did you find this because I never said anything like this. Kerrigan then continued saying, you should not believe everything you read here on the internet. This is clearly edited and I would never talk crap about other players. Enjoy my unfollow. And the two proceeded to go back and forth of Pronax actually adding the score esports, saying very sneaky of them if they fake that segment of you to put into their work. I've been on follow before, will very much enjoy it. As Kerrigan goes, either way they edited how they wanted to sound or used it in a derogatory way to put you down. One thing is sure, I'm never doing interviews with them again. This interview was made for phase stories and now they use BS for other content. And very importantly, Colin McNeil from The Score did respond saying, Hey guys, there's been a serious misunderstanding here. The audio in that clip is from our interview and it was not manipulated, faked, or cheated in any way whatsoever, period. The Trump graphic is not from our video. Just to confirm, I have checked this against the raw interview video file and confirm that this is what was said. To which Kerrigan did respond, So you can expect me never to do interviews with you guys again. You are using this in such a freaking bad derogatory way that it's disrespectful. I will apologize to Pronax because this is clearly pulled out of context of what I meant, you use this sentence to bash him. And apparently Pronax and Kerrigan did talk privately, according to Pronax on Twitter. The sound of the clip is not manipulated. He says this out of context. I think it's quite straightforward. Regardless, I've always seen him as a good guy and he's a beast IGL. Nothing but love for me from now on. We live and learn. And a guy like Pronax has obviously undergone a, a lot of serious um, things in the, in the past few weeks, if not couple of months. I didn't cover here because there was never full closure on this current circumstances. If that does clear up in the future, I will cover Covered that, but obviously this did spark a, a bit of controversy out there. And again, as per usual, curious what you guys think as to exactly what was done here. It seems that a clip, an interview of Kerrigan, and part of that was taken in a very small clip when talking about Pronax's legacy and Kerrigan not wanting to end up like a Pronax, and boom, it was cut off. Like Kerrigan says, taken out of context. I will say, from Pronax's point of view, you know, context or not. It seems fairly clear based off the clip that was played there that he wasn't necessarily regarding Pronax in the best of light in that small clip. But to Kerrigan's point, you don't get the full context because the full clip is not being played. Who knows what he went on to say after that cutoff? That is the issue here. That's where it becomes the biggest problem of being disingenuous. Even further so, when you have an interview with Kerrigan and he does not know it's going to be used in a hit piece on the tragedy of Pronax, that's where you put yourself in a very, very hairy circumstance. You guarantee when Kerrigan sat down for the interview, he had no idea that months or however long later, that clip would be pulled and used in what would be called the tragedy of Pronax. 
And again, with full context, I'm, I'm still looking for the interview, guys. If that full interview and raw idio, uh, interview file is actually published, I will show you guys what Kerrigan actually said with what he calls full context. At the end of the day, though, the most important thing is apparently Kerrigan and Pronax have talked about this privately and resolved their issues going forward, whether or not they will be friends, you know? Uh, we just don't know that. But I, I'm just curious what you guys think about this. Was this unfair acting on the score's part? When you take a clip from an interview, which Kerrigan probably did not understand, would be, you know, used in this kind of piece in the future about someone else when he was asked a question about his own career, and now that answer has been used about someone else's career, I, I, I don't know. I've never been in these kind of shoes before. Will the score make an update? Will they post an apology? Do they need to apologize? I've never been in this circumstance or these shoes before to, to really give you guys an honest answer. Most, mostly just kind of, you know, wanting to know what you guys think about this circumstance. I have never seen an outlet like the score cause a beef between two pro players with a video stemming back this far, an interview even far, further back. And it, it always kind of reminds you guys, no matter what you read or hear out there, you need to know that it might not be the full context of a situation. If it's a seven or eight second clip, there's probably more to come and more to include. And should the score have included the entire clip? Maybe so. Without knowing what the entire clip looks like, we don't really know what to expect in terms of what Kerrigan calls out of context. Either way, what do you guys think about this one? If the uh, full clip or interview does get released, I will of course touch on that probably in the future as to exactly what Kerrigan did say about Pronax. Until next time though, hope you guys all enjoy. What do you think about this uh, crazy little circumstance, huh? Two weeks ago, we called out ESPN Esports. This week, we call out the score. I'm not really calling, it's, it's, it's obviously a joke uh, because I'm fragile and I hope they don't call me out because I couldn't handle that kind of pressure. Until next time, drink your water, drink your coffee. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.